what ways does your media product use, develop, or challenge forms and conventions of real media products? Our video challenged forms and conventions of real media products as there was very little bound footage. We only added a few seconds of bound footage into our video as we didn't want to take away from our in-depth narrative. This is uncommon for music videos of this genre as usually the video revolves around band performance, however we preferred to produce a narrative based video. The video also challenged real media products as we had a concurrent theme of misfortune. The norm for this type of music video is usually a happy and upbeat story and a bright mise en scene. Our song has an upbeat tempo and the video could adhere to the norm, however we learned the true meaning of the song from the band we worked with, Our Krypton Son. The words ill wind symbolise misfortune and all the bad times people go through in their lives and we decided to produce an art of video adhering to the darkness of the meaning of the song. Another way our video challenged real media products is the characters never interacted with each other apart from at the very end when the ringleader buries the 70s character with the dirt. This challenges real media products as typically the characters will interact with each other and have some sort of connection. However, our characters never really met with each other until the last few seconds. The only way our video conforms with the real media products is through the fast pace of the video and this adheres to the fast and upbeat tempo of the song. How effective is the combination of your main product and ancillary texts? In terms of the website, we used an all black and white colour scheme. This helped combine the darkness of the song and the website together. The website was produced with an all black and white colour scheme as we felt this represented our Krypton Sons Chris perfectly as he is not a flashy kind of guy, he's simplistic and down to earth. Although the black and white colour scheme is very plain and simplistic, the strong contrast of the colours catches the eye of the audience and draws them in, which we felt would help gain interest without creating a flashy website which doesn't match Chris's image. We also used a bold sort of font which you would see on posters as that is the style Chris from our Krypton Sun generally tends to use. For the digipack we once again used the bold poster font with a carnival feel to it this time. This helped connect the digipack with the website and rem remained consistent with Chris's style. The usual digipack style is a bright colour scheme and tends to be very band orientated. However, we wanted to focus our digipack on our video and the song Ill Wind. We used dark colour schemes and stills from our video to keep the connection between the ancillary texts and the dark meaning of the song. The only thing that really associated our Krypton song with the digipack were Chris's meaning of the song and the lyrics to the song which we printed onto the digipack. One of the other main combinations of our main product and ancillary tax is the front cover of the Digipack. It includes the ringleader and the most important point of the video, the box. The Digipack cover also includes tarot cards which are consistent with the main product as when the characters become possessed the tarot cards flash around them representing the ill wind and misfortune overpowering them. In conclusion, I feel that there is a very effective combination between our main product and our ancillary text as every aspect, whether it's the website colour scheme 
or the Digi Pack cover. They all maintain what Chris from our Krypton Sun is all about and what he stands for, but most importantly, it all represents the dark meaning of the ill wind. What have you learned from your audience feedback? Through our audience feedback, we have learned a number of things. The audience felt that we had produced a good video in terms of mise-en-scene and locations etc. For example, a number of them mentioned the Huntsman's costume, the hill that the ringleader stood on during the ritual scene and the explosion that the ringleader caused during the ritual scene. They also mentioned the fact that they enjoyed how the location seemed to go on a cycle with the characters between the lock and the forest. The audience also mentioned that they would like some more footage of the band to break up the narrative as at times the continuous story seemed to drag on a little bit. We had already noticed this as a group but the band had a very busy schedule and we weren't able to film them so we had to work with what we had and we decided to produce a narrative based video. The audience also mentioned that the acting wasn't the best. As a group we already knew that this could be a problem but we had to work with what we had at the time and we're still pleased with the end product. Overall the feedback let us know that although there could be a few adjustments made we had achieved the desired piece which we set out to produce. How did you use media technologies in the construction, research, planning and evaluation stages? For the construction of our video, we used the Panasonic 1080p HD camera. This camera was amazing quality and using it really helped enhance the look of our video. We used Max with Final Cut Pro software to edit our video. This software enabled us to add numerous effects to our video such as the cinematic look you see th right through the whole piece and it helped produce an excellent final product. The Max also gave us access to the internet. We were able to go onto YouTube and research similar artists to our Krypton Sun such as Boathouse and Albo who also tried to adhere to the old country and rustic look. We were able to watch their videos and gain inspiration for our video. The internet was also our main source of communication with our Krypton Sons lead member Chris. We were able to email him our ideas and discuss different options. We also created a Facebook group to communicate with each other and arrange dates and times for shooting the video. This was very useful as one of our actors doesn't go to our school so it helped us all stay in contact with each other. I've also filmed the voice for this evaluation using the Panasonic 1080p HD camera and edited it all together using the Final Cut Pro software on the Mac.